Hi everyone, I've got Sweetie here beside me. She's purring away, so I thought I'd show you her before we start. Hi everybody, so today's video is all about cozy winter warmers. These are fragrances that are gonna help you survive the cold, dark, evil long days of winter. These are your talismans just to get you through. So let's start, shall we? I'm going to start with a fragrance I've worn this uh, this week. I think I wore it yesterday, actually. Yeah, I wore this yesterday, Lolita Lem Pica. Now, this is Lolita Lem Pica. This is the original perfume. So it's Eau de Parfum. And my nails seem to match the bottle. This is a birthday gift from my brother in an old uh, gift set with some matching body cream. So it's not the new one that's been, uh, it's kind of been re-released, but it's a slightly different smell. And they're calling it Le Premier. But this is the original. And as you can see, it's got autumn leaves with some gold all over it and an apple core. No, what's it called? What's those things that stick out of apples? Apple... Let me know in the comments what that is, that thing that you would put. When you were a kid, did you used to twist the apple thing off? You won, so you go A, B, C, D, E. And then if it came off at E, that's the first letter of the name of your next boyfriend. And then you have to stab the thing into the apple. You go A, B, C, D, E, F. And when it pierces the skin and goes in, that's the initial of his surname. Did you do that? Neither did I. So it's an apple. Lolita Lempica came out in 1997 and the perfume is Anique Monado. She does some bloody gorgeous perfumes. Look her up. It seems that she works a lot with resins and myrrh and benzoin. I've noticed a lot of fragrances I like by her have those notes. So check her out as a perfumer. Lolita Lempica, I've sprayed it on some paper here. I like to spray it before I start filming, just so that the very top has settled. And firstly, I can tell you that I got a compliment on this fragrance this week. I was in the kitchen at work, waiting for the microwave. The lady that was using the microwave, uh, I walked past her to get something out of the cupboard and she said, your perfume smells really nice. So I was wearing this. This is Licorice, Almond, Iris, Violet, Vanilla, Heliotrope, Tonka, and Green Ivy is a note. Now, I don't know what the hell Green Ivy smells like. I have never gone up to one of those houses covered in ivy and sniffed it. Because that's where you get ivy, isn't it? It's always all over old houses. And these are ivy leaves, actually. So, what I actually get from this fragrance... Oh, I can't stop sniffing it. You totally get the aniseed. So I think there's uh, licorice and star anise. But basically, it just comes off like licorice. And licorice is what you get. It's the most dominant note for the beginning of the fragrance. But you will smell a powderiness of the iris. A hint of the almond and the tonka. It's just soft, fluffy, powdery. There's no jumping out fresh notes. There's no weird notes. The licorice is, I guess, not to everyone's taste. To me, this fragrance is one of those your skin but better smells because it's not jumping off your skin saying, I'm a perfume, I'm a perfume. It's just giving you this soft, fluffy, fuzzy feel. It's really, really beautiful. It doesn't do that much in terms of changing on my skin. It's kind of what you get is what you get in, you know, in the initial. It's just that the licorice maybe gently subsides. And I think the almond and the vanilla come out stronger later on. But it's a very, very gently changing perfume. There's not that much going on. It's not a performance. It's not a journey. It's a comfort blanket and it's really, really beautiful. I suggest you try it. 
it's not hard to get hold of on online uh, shops discounters etc just make sure you get the original not the one with the apple bite out of it which has a looks like it's had a bite out of it that would be le premiere which is nice but this is the one that's more suitable for colder weather it's a co real comforting one next up we have over the chocolate shop this is by 4160 Tuesdays. Look at that gorgeous bottle with the gold on it. There's the label. I've been reaching for this one quite a lot these last couple of weeks or so. It's just gorgeous. Where is it? There we are. So here it is, sprayed on paper. And what you get initially is chocolate hazelnut with a hint of coffee it's like a molten warm chocolate you can picture it so you can picture it being ladled like hot warm chocolate but you can smell like someone's got a cup of coffee in the distance and it's almost that nutella kind of hazelnut thing going on as well it's the notes are praline Cocoa, coffee, hazelnut and vanilla. Very, very simplistic. Very beautiful, very comforting. Gourmand lovers, chocolate lovers, you must try this. It's one of my absolute favourite chocolate fragrances. This one along with Pan of London's Pink Champagne Truffle, which is different. You can definitely own both. The Pink Champagne Truffle's got raspberry. It's a very dark, bitter chocolate. This is smooth and hazelnutty and just gorgeous. Over the chocolate shop, totally recommend that. Okay then, here's a new addition to my collection. I'm chuffed to bits to have this. Alien Essence Absolute. I smelt this quite recently on a trip to France to see my mum. I did a video on that if you want to have a look. And in a department store they had this. I thought I'll give it a go and I loved it. And then, oh, so good. It's better on skin though. On paper it keeps its alienness. On skin it very quickly becomes a rich oriental vanilla concoction. That's all about the vanilla. I've been reaching for this one a lot. I got this on eBay. I did give away a little bit to my hairdresser because he really likes perfumes and he's happy to, for me to give him perfume instead of tips. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, but I have worn quite a lot of this as well in just the last couple of weeks that I've had it. And it is just a very rich, very vanilla-y, slightly alien-esque perfume and it's gorgeous very gourmand there's incense and it's a bit spicy it is it is another comforting cozy hug but this one has a lot more depth than this one alien essence absolute feels richer and more complex and is a really great if you want to impress someone kind of fragrance date night would be perfect and in my opinion completely unisex so next up okay then this is number two so <laughs> i don't know if i've been giving them numbers for you but we are now down to number two we started at number five mm. this my darlings is bichon parfums aura sublime now i've done a video on it i've mentioned it in other videos i adore it it is another very much vanilla heavy but very resinous as well there's some citrus in the opening you will get bergamot and lemon but it the citruses calm down quite quickly to become this enveloping warm cozy thick beautiful comforting rug we've had a comfort blanket let's have a comfort rug it's suede like oh my god it's so beautiful 
So, Aura Sublime has notes of uh, bergamot, lemon, iris, hedione, ambergris, vanilla, tonka, woody notes, benzoin, and musk. Do have a look at my review. I put in a lot of effort to really try and explain to you how good this fragrance is, so I'm gonna link that one below. Which leaves us with number one. Are you ready for this? I think you could probably guess this was coming. Iris Ganache. I've spoken about it before, I really hope that I'm not boring you in bringing this one up as well, but I have to be honest in my list videos and tell you the, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, what I'm wearing, what I'm reaching for the most in these cold weather, and it is the gorgeous Iris Ganache. Now this is a very, very special fragrance, and I wouldn't be reaching for this on the everyday, but if I feel like I really need a lift, on say a working day then I might choose that as a special treat but it's more of a, for me it's more of a date night or going out party night kind of fragrance just because it's so special and it's kind of hard to get so therefore you don't want to be spraying it all the time because it was quite expensive and had to be shipped to me from a lovely fragrant friend who lived in Paris and went out to get it for, or was out there and made the effort to get up early and actually managed to get me the last uh, bottle from the particular stock that they had in the shop there and uh, there was not going to be much chance to get any more for potentially months and months so um, it is very very special for that reason and I know that not everyone's going to be able to get hold of it and I do apologize if that's the case for you I would recommend you try join the fa uh, Facebook groups and see if anyone will sell you a decant or a sample if you like iris chocolate cinnamon let me read you the notes cinnamon bergamot iris white chocolate patchouli cedar musk vanilla amber powdery notes so is just an enveloping rich warm gorgeous fragrance it smells like a perfume but it has a gourmand touch so if you like an out and out gourmand then this might not be quite what you're looking for this is not a direct translation of a dessert or cake but it has elements it has a hint of chocolate but the chocolate is not photorealistic like the chocolate in this fragrance this is worlds apart from iris ganache although both are really really beautiful there's only the merest hint of chocolate in here the iris is the main player oh hello sweetie so sweetie's back um iris is the main player the cinnamon and then to me in the dry down i get some rich kind of resinous stuff going on that's not listed in the notes it's just really beautiful another one that i have done a review of if you care to watch i will also try and link that if i remember in the description and that is all do you want to see my pussy look she's just behind me come on then babes oh sweetie here she is hey come in and look up at everybody Look up. She's feeling a bit camera shy by the looks of it. Come on, sweetie. What's this? What's this? Here she is, look. <laughs> she's a bit snotty. Bless you, darling. Oh, bless you. I think she's had enough. Oh. So from me and her, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.